The study aims to replicate and advance research on how large language models, specifically GPT-4, predict variations in moral opinions between countries. It examines GPT-4's grasp of cultural nuances using responses from the World Value Survey and the European Value Study covering 18 moral issues across 63 countries. The results confirm GPT-4's greater predictive success in high-income than in low-income countries, with predictions primarily based on a single dimension, likely reflecting countries' degree of conservatism, liberalism. However, the real-world moral landscape appears two-dimensional, differentiating between personal sexual and violent dishonest issues. GPT-4's predictions are accurate in the personal sexual domain for both high-income and low-income countries but significantly drop in the violent dishonest domain for both, indicating a onidimensional worldview that does not fully capture the moral landscape's complexity. This study highlights the importance of considering country-specific characteristics and the characteristics of moral issues to understand GPT-4's moral understanding. In the increasingly globalized and digitalized world, the influence of cultures on human interaction is becoming more significant. Large language models, LLMs, are no exception, as their cultural knowledge can be instrumental in tasks such as cultural and social alignment of AI agents. Prior research has proposed various strategies for enhancing cultural alignment between users and LLMs, including country-specific prompting. However, the efficacy of these approaches depends on the accuracy of the LLM's cultural understanding which warrants a comparison between AI-generated output and real-world data on moral issues. Previous studies have shown that GPT models contain some understanding of human moral standards, with a comprehensive study by Ramazani and Shu, 2023, demonstrating that both GPT-2 and GPT-3 models' estimates of moral opinion were significantly correlated with cross-cultural variation in real-world survey data. However, the study also revealed a discrepancy in the accuracy of moral opinion representation between affluent, Western nations and those that are not affluent or non-Western, raising concerns about the potential limitations of English language training data. While previous studies have focused on investigating differences in GPT's accuracy between different categories of countries, limited attention has been paid to evaluating its accuracy across different types of moral issues. This is despite an extensive literature advocating for multidimensional taxonomies of cultural values to comprehend cultural diversity. Of particular interest is the distinction made by Vauclair and Fisher, 2011, proposing the separation of moral issues into two categories, personal sexual and dishonest illegal issues. This distinction is based on evolutionary and cultural theories, hypothesizing that the dishonest illegal moral domain should be independent of cultural values whereas personal sexual issues should be influenced by cultural perceptions of the self. This notion found support when examining the relationship between Schwartz's 2004 cultural values and the two moral domains using world value survey data, where the autonomy embeddedness dimension successfully predicted countries' attitudes on personal sexual but not violent dishonest issues. This example underscores the complexity of the moral landscape and emphasizes the importance of recognizing the diversity of moral issues. Understanding GPT-4's ability to predict moral opinions requires consideration of both country characteristics and moral issues. Building on previous findings, this study confirms that GPT contains knowledge about cultural variation in moral opinions and performs better in high-income countries. To further investigate, the factor structure of GPT estimates is compared with real-world survey data from the joint EVS-WVS dataset, which provides country-level responses for 18 moral items across 63 countries. Pearson correlation coefficients are calculated to assess GPT-4's accuracy in predicting moral opinions, with scores normalized across countries for each moral issue. An exploratory factor analysis is performed on both WVS data and GPT estimates to evaluate their dimensionality. This analysis reveals the underlying causes and ramifications of GPT's dimensional structure, shedding light on the model's capabilities and limitations in predicting moral opinions. By examining the joint EVS-WVS dataset, this study provides novel insights into GPT-4's performance in capturing cultural variations in moral opinions. The results have significant implications for understanding the model's strengths and weaknesses in predicting moral opinions, 
as well as its potential applications in cross-cultural research. The research paper delves into the correlation between GPT-4 estimates and WVS scores, investigating moral cultural variation across different countries and issues. A moderate positive correlation is observed, with a mean correlation of 0.48 for each moral issue separately. The correlation varies significantly by income level, showing a strong correlation in high-income countries but only a weak correlation in low-income countries. To compare the dimensionality of the WVS and GPT datasets, an exploratory factor analysis was conducted. Two components were retained for the WVS data, while only one component was retained for the GPT data. The cumulative explained variance of the first two components for the WVS data is 0.78, which is identical to the explained variance of the first component for the GPT data. A scree plot comparing the eigenvalues of GPT and WVS data reveals the results of a factor analysis with Veramix rotation. This analysis yields two retained factors for the WVS data, capturing nearly all 18 moral issues. The majority of issues load distinctly onto these two factors, with exceptions including the justifiability of suicide and parents beating their children, which exhibit slight cross-loadings. The justifiability of the death penalty does not load significantly on either factor. In contrast, the single factor for the GPT data mirrors this split, with positive loadings for issues corresponding to the WVS first factor loadings and negative loadings for issues mostly corresponding to the WVS second factor loadings. Table 1 provides a detailed breakdown of the factor loadings for both WVS and GPT moral items highlighting strong correlations between specific moral issues and their respective factors. Notably, the loadings demonstrate the complexity and nuances in moral attitudes, as well as variations in how they are perceived across different datasets. This analysis underscores the importance of considering multiple factors when examining moral attitudes, rather than relying on a single unified construct. The findings suggest that moral attitudes are multifaceted and influenced by diverse underlying factors, warranting further exploration to fully understand their intricacies. The research paper introduces a dichotomy between two moral domains, personal sexual issues and violent dishonest issues. Personal sexual issues encompass topics such as abortion, divorce, euthanasia, homosexuality, casual sex, prostitution, sex before marriage, and suicide. Violent dishonest issues include man-beating wife, violence, stealing property, claiming government benefits, avoiding a fare on public transport, cheating on taxes, accepting a bribe, the death penalty, political violence, and parents beating their children. The analysis of the World Values Survey, WVS, data reveals that two distinct factors drive variation in the data. In contrast, the Global Preference for Punishment, GPT, seems to derive all its predictions based on a single underlying factor, which would result in a high correlation between GPT's estimates in the two moral domains. To test this notion, the study calculated country-level means for personal sexual and violent dishonest issues and examined the correlation between the two domains for GPT and WVS, respectively. The results show a large correlation between GPT's country estimates in the two domains, with a correlation coefficient of 0.86, p less than 0.001, 95% c, 0.91, 0.78. However, there was only a small correlation between the two domains in the WVS data, indicating that the distinction between personal sexual and violent dishonest issues is more pronounced in real-world survey data than in GPT's predictions. This highlights the limitations of GPT in capturing the nuances of moral preferences across different domains. The analysis reveals a small, non-significant correlation between violent dishonest and personal sexual issues in real-world data, with a correlation coefficient of 0.14 and a p-value of 0.3. Figure 3 illustrates this relationship with each data point representing the mean level public opinion in a country for violent dishonest issues and personal sexual issues, as estimated by GPT or recorded by the World Values Survey, WVS. The shaded areas denote 95% confidence intervals around the regression line. The results so far indicate that GPT-4 performs significantly better at estimating cultural variation across high-income countries than across low-income countries.
Moreover, GPT's estimations are primarily based on a single underlying factor, despite real-world data suggesting a more nuanced explanation involving two factors. These findings suggest that it may not only be important to consider countries' income level when evaluating GPT's predictive success but also the moral domain in which GPT makes its predictions. To account for both these factors, the authors tested accuracy for all four combinations of income and domain. The results, displayed in Figure 4, reveal that GPT performs well in the personal sexual domain in both high-income and low-income countries, with correlation coefficients of 0.77 and 0.58, respectively. In contrast, GPT performs relatively poorly across both income groups in the violent dishonest domain, with weak to moderate correlations amongst high-income countries and weak negative correlations in low-income countries. These findings suggest that the accuracy of estimates depends more on differences between different types of issues than on country income level. This section of the research paper presents a comparative analysis between GPT's estimated societal moral values and the World Values Survey WVS, data. The analysis is conducted across different countries, separated by income level and moral domain. Figure 4 illustrates the correlation between GPT's estimates and WVS measurements for both personal sexual and violent dishonest domains. In the personal sexual domain, GPT accurately estimates societal variation with a correlation coefficient of 0.85, p less than 0.001, 95% c, 0.76, 0.90. However, in the violent dishonest domain, the correlation is significantly weaker at 0.23, p equals 0.07, 95% c, 0.02, 0.45. This discrepancy is visually evident in the right panel of figure 5, where GPT's single factor fails to capture societal variation in the violent dishonest domain. For instance, GPT's point estimates for Armenia and the Philippines are barely differentiated along the z-axis, despite being furthest apart in the empirical ratings recorded by the WVS along the Yaxis. This suggests that GPT may not fully capture the nuances of societal moral values in the violent dishonest domain. This finding highlights potential limitations in GPT's ability to accurately model moral values across various domains, particularly when it comes to issues related to violence and dishonesty. It underscores the need for further refinement of GPT's algorithms to better reflect the complexities of human moral judgment. Figure 5 presents country-level means for personal sexual and violent dishonest moral issues, estimated by Chad GPT and measured by the World Value Survey, WVS. The shaded areas represent 95% confidence intervals around the regression line. The authors investigate why Chad GPT is highly accurate in the personal sexual domain but performs poorly in the violent dishonest domain. The personal sexual domain issues, which divide liberals and conservatives, may be captured by Chad GPT's onidimensional view of morality, placing countries along a liberal conservative continuum. To explore this hypothesis, the authors ask Chad GPT to estimate how liberal, progressive, or traditional, conservative each of the 63 countries in the WVS dataset is, on a scale from 0, conservative, to 100, extremely liberal. A very strong positive correlation between ChadGPD's liberalism estimates and ChadGPD's mean country-level estimates in the personal sexual domain is found, with a correlation coefficient of R, 61, equals 0.93, 95% C, 0.89, 0.96. Similarly, a strong positive correlation between liberalism estimates and WVS country level mean scores in the personal sexual domain is observed, with a correlation coefficient of R, 61, equals 0.84, 95% C, 0.75, 0.90. These results suggest that a liberalism conservative dimension indeed explains Chad GPD's estimates for personal sexual issues and captures most of the real-world country variants in this domain of moral opinion. In contrast, there is a very strong negative correlation between Chad GPD's liberalism estimates and Chad GPD's mean country-level estimates in the violent dishonest domain, indicating that the liberalism conservative dimension does not explain Chad GPD's estimates in this domain. 
This dichotomy highlights the complexity of moral issues and the limitations of ChatGPT's onidimensional view of morality. Analysis reveals a significant negative correlation between GPT's liberalism estimates and its mean country-level estimates in the violent dishonest domain, with a correlation coefficient of 0.85 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.91, 0.77. This suggests that a liberal conservatism dimension underlies GPT's estimates in this domain. In contrast, no significant correlation is found between liberalism estimates and World Values Survey, WVS, country-level mean scores in the violent dishonest domain, with a correlation coefficient of 0.13 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.36, 0.12. This indicates that the liberal conservatism continuum explains little to no real-world variance in this domain of moral opinion. Figure 6 illustrates the relationships between liberalism and GPT estimates and WVS scores in each moral domain. The Zaxis represents GPT's country estimates of liberalism, ranging from 0, conservative, to 100, extremely liberal, while the Yaxis represent GPT's country-level estimates and WVS scores for personal sexual and violent dishonest issues, respectively. The shaded areas denote 95% confidence intervals around the regression line. The study investigates whether GPT-4 can accurately estimate moral opinions across a diverse set of countries. The results replicate previous findings, showing that GPT's estimates correlate with real-world data, with higher accuracy in high-income countries than in low-income countries. Notably, GPT estimates and real-world scores are not perfectly correlated for any moral issues alleviating concerns that GPT may be basing its estimates on WVS data. The study on GPT's moral worldview compares its estimates with the World Values Survey dataset, revealing the onidimensional moral landscape. GPT performs well in the personal sexual domain but poorly in the violent dishonest domain. The analysis suggests that GPT's moral worldview is centered around the liberal conservative dimension which effectively explains cultural variance in personal sexual attitudes but not in dishonest illegal issues. This corresponds with prior research on the autonomy embeddedness dimension. The findings indicate that GPT's moral worldview simplifies the moral landscape, potentially missing nuances in the violent dishonest domain. Please provide the original transcript that needs to be refined, and I'll transform it into a concise, technically accurate summary suitable for voiceover narration following the guidelines you've outlined. I'll maintain the technical accuracy and depth of the content, explain key terms and concepts with precision and clarity, and highlight novel ideas and significant findings. Cultural bias in language models is a pressing concern, as it can perpetuate social inequalities and undermine the fairness of AI systems. Auditing and mitigation strategies are essential to identify and address these biases. One primary challenge lies in defining and quantifying cultural bias. Researchers have employed various methods, including statistical analysis, sentiment analysis, and human evaluation, to detect bias in language models. However, these methods have limitations, such as reliance on annotated datasets and susceptibility to annotator bias. To overcome these limitations, researchers have proposed novel approaches, including multimodal fusion, adversarial training, and debiasing algorithms. Multimodal fusion integrates textual and visual features to reduce cultural bias, while adversarial training involves training models on biased data to learn unbiased representations. Debiasing algorithms, on the other hand, aim to remove bias from pre-trained language models. The importance of cultural bias mitigation is underscored by the significant impact of language models on real-world applications, such as language translation, sentiment analysis, and text generation. Biased language models can perpetuate stereotypes, discriminate against marginalized groups, and exacerbate social inequalities. Future work involves developing more robust auditing and mitigation strategies, as well as integrating cultural bias mitigation into the development cycle of language models. Additionally, there is a need for more diverse and representative datasets to train language models, as well as increased transparency and accountability in the development and deployment of AI systems.